under the palm trees in the California sun. Sand underneath our feet, morning just begun. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Castle Rig Farm for another video. You join me today, uh, a day after we last saw each other, 6th of June. It's another lovely, warm, sunny day, and we have got plenty to do today. I just thought I'd pop down and see the uh, the cows this morning in the field, go and check on them all, make sure they're okay. So you can come along and have a look. I'll leave that there for now. So, yeah, they are looking lovely and healthy, which is really good. And they're all milking just fine, which is perfect. So, yeah, they're, since they've had their calves, they're just sort of, you know, a few weeks. All right, excuse you. They're a few weeks, um, you know, after the they've given birth now. So they're just starting to get back to normal again and sort of a bit more back to their normal selves. But they're all doing really well, which is great to see. They're all really healthy. And they are giving us milk and starting to earn their keep, which is obviously music to our ears. You can see that they're really, really grazing this field down, though. So, I am going to be exploring options in the next few weeks as to where we could potentially put another pasture on the farm for them. So they've got a little bit more options to graze. We're all right at the moment. They've still roughly got enough food at the moment, but just something to be aware of. So, I'm going to be looking at options in the future as to where that can be. I think... One particular option is, and I've thought about this before, is it's obviously harvest next month, and once this uh, OSR is gone, I might actually cultivate this back in straight away and bang some grass in and and put a pasture in here for him. But we'll see. I mean, that's going to be, I think, maybe next month, or might even be August. So we'll just see how long... Um, that takes to sort of get to that harvest stage and and play it by ear really there is another field I've been exploring down the bottom uh, it's sort of just down here so where we cut this field for hay last uh, yesterday and um, just down the bottom there you can just see it that little grass field now I think that is for sale there's a farmer just down the road he doesn't seem to be using it for much so I might speak to him at some point and see if he'd be up for selling that because that, that could be handy just for uh, sticking um, sticking the herd in when we when we want to do a bit of pasture rotation. So, yeah, all things to be aware of. So, as you can see, I uh, bailed up all these fields as, as, as you saw in the last episode and then in between the episodes I came along and gathered all the bales up. And they are now all in the shed. So just jump this gate uh, yeah they are now all in the shed so we'll go and have a look at those and I can show you where they're all stacked but they're all looking good hello Dylan <laughs> good boy right let's uh, let's go and have a look at these bales Right, so there we go. Let's see if I can climb. In fact, I might just I clamber on this straw up here. Right, there we go. So there you go. They are all nicely stacked out the back. So they've got plenty of hay there. Um, and obviously we've still got plenty of straw at the moment. So, um. Now, obviously, last um, winter, the they were the, the cows were only heifers still, and they were in that first calving season, so they weren't using as much straw. But now they're a bit older and and things, they'll probably end up using a bit more straw this winter. So we'll see how much we're going to use of this, because obviously we're also got another harvest to come. So we might actually be able to sell a couple of bales this uh, this year and 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 keep on hang on to these, which would be even better. Anything that can make us a bit of money, because we've got these big plans coming up. And that is going to cost a fair bob. So, um, yeah, so we'll, 
we'll see what they can do with that. But yeah, they're all stacked up. Uh, good to go. So 4,500 litres per bale there of hay. So nice and fresh. And we move these back again. So we're using last year's harvest before the others too. So yeah. Right, we've got a busy day ahead of us though today. Uh, spoke to Craig earlier on and he wants to get these fields pretty much sorted so we can get a crop in ASAP really. Um, so, what we're going to do is, you may remember from the very first episode if you've watched it, we actually mucked out the cows um, as they went out to pasture uh, at that point. When we... Um, did the uh, heaping and, and got rid of the muck heap from over there. We carted all the muck we'd got over winter from this heap down into the bottom field, which has been left uh, fallow for this year. So basically we've got to go and load that up into our old trailer here, cart it across to Craig's, dump it in the field we're going to be doing, and we're going to need to spread some muck in his fields. He's done the liming, which is good. So I've said we'll help him out, and we'll, uh, we'll do a bit of muck spreading for him. Now, the one thing I am slightly worried about is obviously he has a very, very hilly farm. So I'm going to go across probably... I mean, our most powerful tractor is still the... Um, it's still the old TW35. Um, and that's 192. But I did hear that the store potentially had a tractor in... Um, that they could loan out to us. It's a, uh, it's one that they'd. It is a used tractor, um, but it's it's almost like a, it's one that can be open for being rented and stuff. So, it has a little bit more horsepower. I'm going to contact them about it now and see if it's available, because if so, if it is, I think we might go ahead and use that for doing the spreading because we're going to struggle in our tractor. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's. Uh, Let's see how we go. First off, we've got to do um, we've got to do this carting. So I'm going to take I'll take the uh, the TW for this down to that bottom field with that trailer on, and then next we'll come down in the uh, in the telehandler there, get the bucket on, and we'll start shifting some muck across. And in the meantime, we'll probably set it up in a montage. You can watch us doing a bit of that, and while I'm out doing all that work, I'll give the shop a call and. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Right then, the old TW. It does feel like it's been a while since we've used this tractor, so looking forward to this actually. That starts first time as always. Right, it's 5 to 8 in the morning, it's already 23 degrees, let's get these bloody windows open. Right, I'll speak to you all in a bit.
is one load all sorted. Let's get over to Craig's and give it a dump. I'll give him a buzz actually before we set off, just see if I can find out which f uh, field he wants us to uh, to pop it in. Let me just uh, get my phone out and get my quick buzz. Hello, mate. How's it going? Hey, up. Oh, you all right? <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. Can't complain. Very good, very good. It's uh, it's a cracking day for it, isn't it? Five past eight, 23 degrees already, sun's out. Can't get better than this. Oh, yeah. Well, you could. I mean, you could be sat in a beer garden, but maybe it's a bit early for that. But <laughs> maybe later. <laughs> maybe later, right. We'll, we'll, that will come to that when we're done. The work. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I've just started emptying my muck pile. I'm going to bring some of this uh, muck up for you. Obviously, we'll spread it on. Just wondering... Um, <clears throat> What fields do you want it popping in? And um, I'll make sure I get that shifted to the right place for you. I believe at the moment they're going to be going on to the two newest fields, I think, which mm -hmm. is uh, 109 and 110. Uh, but if you can make your way to the farm, um, and I'll meet you down to the entrance uh, to field, I believe it is 109, the entrance to it's on the bottom right hand corner of the field. Alright, bro. I'll head up your way now. I'll probably be there um, about an hour or so. That's absolutely fine, mate. No worries at all. Perfect. Alright. No worries, dude. Thank you very much. I will catch you in a bit. Alright, field 109. Let's, uh, let's head over that way. Well, you can definitely tell the uh, the trailer's full. Right then, here we go. I will. Uh, leave it there for you guys now and I will speak to you when we're over at Craig's. Catch you in a bit.
Okay, guys, we have just got back from Craig's, and it is half four. The carting took a little bit longer than we would have hoped, so we decided we would do that for today. Um, get a good night's sleep, get another early morning, and then get straight onto that muck spreading. So, yeah. I'm just going to go around now, just double check on the animals before I go to bed. Um, it is the last day of June today, so we'll be into July tomorrow, so... Again, busy month, going to be the start of harvest and everything, but we should get this spreading done, shouldn't be an issue. So yeah, uh, store is going to deliver up the uh, lease tractor for us tomorrow on their low loader, so that'll be that'll be good. And then as soon as that arrives, we're going to get down to Craig's with the muck spread on the back and get some of this uh, spreading done. So, I'll see you all in the morning. It's alright. Morning everybody, it is July on the farm and it's another lovely day which is brilliant. So, it's five to nine, um, just waiting on that delivery from the store of this tractor we've loaned and then we are going to be heading up to Craig's. So, um, it said they'd be here sometime around nine-ish, so any time now, so I will see you again when uh, it arrives. Oh, I can hear an engine. Yep. Crikey, he wants to slow down a bit. Flipping heck. There it is. There it is. I have wanted one of these for some time. Probably a dream tractor this, but I can't afford it right now. But I thought this is an ample opportunity to hire one, test it out, uh, doing the muck spreading up at Craig's. So yeah, it is a John Deere 7530, 220 horsepower. Um, so it should be good enough for the job. It'll be a good tester for us. So. Without further ado, let's get off the back of this lorry, send them on their way, and get off to Craig's. Well, here we are, everybody, in the cab of the 7530. I cannot tell you how long I have waited to be behind the wheel of one of these. I absolutely love this tractor. Uh, I have a similar soft spot for a 6930, but obviously same thing in it you know it's a bit bigger um, more powerful yeah I love these things it'll be really interesting to try it on uh, Craig's farm too so we've got the muck spreader on the back I'll give him a quick call and let him know we're on the way hello dude alright mate how we doing ah uh, not too bad just down at the bottom of field 109, just waiting on you. Very good. Well, I've got a bit of a surprise for you. I'll be coming along in a tractor that I've just hired because I think I've got something to deal with your hills. Oh, right, okay. Sounds intriguing. Yeah. I'll let you see it when I'm uh, when I'm up there, but I shouldn't be too long now. I should be with you shortly and we'll we'll get these this field muck spread for you. Right, no worries. I will see you shortly then, dude. Yeah, see you later, mate. Right. Let's get going. Hello. <laughs> what do you think of that beast? I did hear something coming in. I was sorry, I was busy greasing up my little points in my JCB. Oh, very nice. Dream track to this for me, I tell you. Very nice. Yeah. Is it 75 30? Nice. 
Yeah, 7.530. I think it's 220 horsepower, they said. It's been slightly chipped, but I think you can you can get them chipped even more, I think, is what they said to me. So, But yeah, this is the one they had yeah, for hire. I mean, you can see it's, it's an old used thing. These came out around about 2007, 2008. So, but they're just... Well, it's a John Deere, isn't it? It's a workhorse. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think there's something about this, this shape of John Deere as well. Just an absolute beast. So I guess then, I, th I think when we come to, to do this work today then, I thought I'll keep on sort of coming down to here at one point. You, I mean, you might be able to, if I can get the tractor up against this wall, you might even be able to load us over the wall, to be fair. That's not a bad show, and to be honest, it probably should manage it. It's got quite a big arm, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Brill. Right, well, we may as well get cracking then, eh? Yep, let's get to it. test of how we go uphill in the uh, 7538 I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty excited about this uh, I've wanted one of these tractors forever so it'll be a really good chance to see how we get on so we're gonna go straight up that headland there right up to the top and see how we go well here goes nothing she's doing all right so far At least we know that works nicely. Here's the easy way side down. Right, well, without further ado, I'll get cracking with this job. Hopefully do a bit of a montage for you with a couple of clips. We've got the drone up and that, and uh, I'll catch you all in a bit.
Right, well, that is this field done now as well. It's all looking good. Once again, John Deere had absolutely no problems getting up that hill. Worked an absolute treat. So, got all that muck spread on those fields there for Craig, and he's ready to plough in, ready for his next crop. So, we'll just go and have a chat with him and, uh, yeah. See what's what. Hey up, mate. Hello there. So, that is all done for you. That is amazing. You have no idea how much that is going to help. At least that way I can now look at getting these ploughed in probably for next season, though, I think. Sweet. Sweet. Do you have any idea what you're going to put in yet? Um, I'm not 100% sure as of yet. Um, that's still to be decided. Fair enough. Well, um, oh, what I'll do is I'll probably, I mean, I know we dumped that muck there. If there's any left, you may as well keep that if you want to use it on any other fields and stuff. It's fine by me. Yeah, sure. I can do that. That's absolutely fantastic as well. I'll take what I've got back in the spreader back to our farm. Um, and then, yeah, I think, to be honest with you, if it's now into July, um, I was checking this morning and it looks like... Um, our crops are ready to harvest so I'm going to keep an eye on the weather okay. and if you're free and you've got a gap in your workload in the next couple of days to come down and start harvest with us that would be amazing yep that's not an issue at all um, I can see that my maize in that other field is growing quite nicely I need to double check that and see when that's ready yeah perfect perfect very nice right well I'll get this stuff back to our yard Um. And then, well, I better go and give this tractor back, actually, because unfortunately I can't keep it. It's a shame, isn't it? That is a shame, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely beast. tractor. Absolute beast. Right. I'll uh, I'll catch you next time, mate, and uh, we'll try and get on with harvest. And then I think once harvest is done, I'm more, I'm more than happy to come across and give you a hand with a bit of ploughing as well, if you like. Yeah, so, you know. that would be amazing, because it's going to take me a long time to do these two fields. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Uh, I'm have to demo another tractor for that given it's hilly <laughs> um, but that's always always an excuse to demo some new equipment so there you go definitely right I'll catch you next time mate cheers thanks so much dude oh, no worries right let's uh, let's get this spreader back to the farm and then we will go and dump the uh, dump the tractor there as well Well, as you can see, we just got back to the farm. It's uh, just gone 20 past 12, so we'll just get this unhooked. Take this back down to the dealership and then uh, come and grab ourselves our lunch. Some lunch, I think. I thought I'd better give it a clean before we take it back. Don't want to take it back with its stinking of cow muck and covered in cow muck. I'll never learn us anything again. Actually, better go and shut them windows as well, as they get soaked. Right. There we go. But yeah, what a piece of kit, eh? One day. One day. Get a few more cows on the farm and see how we go. See if we get any bigger. And you never know. 
We might just be in the market for one of them. Certainly good for helping Craig out on his farm though. So if we ever go into contracting and uh, doing a bit of muck spreading contracting, we're going to need something like that because you never know where we're going to end up. And also for ploughing too. Right. Let's get it back. Well, afternoon everyone. I got back from the dealer, had a bit of lunch and we're back out again now. I had a look what was uh, in his catalogue actually while I was down there and he did have a nice case. I think it was a Puma 160 CVX in. It's a bit out of our price range unfortunately but uh, it looked a nice bit of kit. Um, anyway, what I want to do this afternoon is I need to get these calves mucked out. So we're going to get that done. Get a bit of it shifted into that muck pile and start building that up again. And I might try and do a bit of tanking as well. Because um, these the slurry from the calves is starting to build up a little bit. So I'll get that over into the tank. And then at some point in the next couple of days, I mean, I've got harvest coming up. But I need to get some slurry on those fields I just cut uh, for hay. And if I don't do it soon, we're never going to uh, we're never going to feel the benefit of that. So... Um, Lots to be done, and we've got to get all that done, obviously, in between harvest as well. So, I'll get that done now, and um, I think if there's, you know, when I come to edit all of this stuff, if the video's a bit too long, I might, you might just see it's done between episodes and things, but if there's a bit of time, if there's a bit of time, I'll, uh, I'll add that in. Right, we'll, uh, we'll get cracking. There we go. That is all the tanking done. So we've moved the slurry that the calves have already put in there over the last month into there now. So that'll at some point come in. Uh, we're going to need all the slurry we can get, as I say, to get on them fields. So um, what I might try and do, to be fair, is given the time of day, I might have to try and get some slurry on those uh, on those fields today, so we can get that done. Yeah, I think that's not a bad shout actually, and then we can at least say that that's been done without waiting too long. How are we doing for fuel in the old 8210? Half full, we'll go and give her a full tank and then uh, I think that can be this afternoon's job. Right, let's go and spread a bit of slurry.
Okay, so there we are. It is half four, and I've managed to get all three of those fields we cut last time all sprayed and covered in slurry. So it's a bit of a sludgy mess now, as you can see. Um, but at least we managed to get some before it grows too high. So that grass should get that benefit now. We'll get a nice full crop next time we come to cut it. So yeah. Anyway, we've got a lot done in this episode, so um, I think we'll leave it there. So thanks again for watching. I do apologise for the delay in the uh, the videos this last week. I've been so busy uh, in real life with different things, um, lots of stuff going on in the house and various other bits and pieces. So hopefully, normal service of one video a week should resume from now on. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody that has liked and subscribed and commented so far. I think last time I checked, we were up to 150 subscribers here on the uh, on the channel. So just glad you 150 enjoy and you know what what you're seeing. And uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around. So until next time, I'll uh, I'll leave you guys to it, and uh, I'll see you later. Ta-ra! Right.